way to establish that, to establish any ancestry, not just someone who's a Sayyid, any ancestry. This person is this person's father. Aw hukmil hakim. Whenever the ruler, what do we mean by ruler in Islamic law? Jurist. Hakim is shar'i, the religious jurist, whether it's a marja or a mujtahid, a qualified jurist, if they issue a ruling that based on the evidence that I've seen, this person is a Sayyid, he comes from a Sayyid family, this person becomes eligible for khums. So in Islamic law, hukm al-hakim is also applicable and it's, it's acceptable. Number three, aw shia al-mujib lil you will find this in a number of areas in Islamic law where this actually will generate a ruling for us. What's al-shia al-mufid lil itma'inan? Something that is so widespread, so commonly known, that it generates confidence, this is the case. There are some families in the Middle East, whether in Iran or Iraq or Syria or Lebanon, they may not have an actual family tree that you can go and historically verify with evidence. They may not have that. But this family is known in their society to be a Sayyid family, such that it generates confidence that you can assume them to be Sayyids. In Islamic law, this is acceptable. So we do have in the seminaries in Najaf and Karbala and Qom and Mashhad, families that have been historically known to be Sayyids. Now if you demand them evidence, they probably cannot produce evidence. Like what kind of evidence do you want me to give you? Now for instance with my you know, family, I do have a family tree, but a lot of Sayyids may not have a family tree. That is certified and verified and you can go 40 generations back to the Prophet with evidence. A lot of Sayyids, most Sayyids probably cannot produce that for you. But how do we treat them as Sayyids? Because from one generation to the other generation, they were known and accepted to be Sayyids. This was so well known that it generates confidence, they are Sayyids. If it generates such confidence, then ancestry is established and they are eligible for the Khums. So this is the third method that we can establish ancestry.